Happy New Year from the Convocation Center. Monday night in Athens, it was time for the Saul Phillips Show across the Ohio IMG Sports Network. I'm Russ Eisenstein. The Bobcats are 5-6 and six after non-conference play, ready to take on 6-5 and five Northern Illinois at the Convo on Wednesday night. Very important time of the year, conference time. And certainly, our radio network is there for you. Bobcat TV is there for you, too. And so we cut up the Saul Phillips Show here on Bobcat TV. We do say Happy New Year to you. Everybody have a good turn of the calendar year up there? Yeah. You're all here, so that's a good thing. What did, what did you do? How did you spend your At New uh, I went to a, a child's uh, New Year's party where they, they rigged up a ball. that was They dropped it. It was cool. Oh, okay. that's awesome. And then at uh, 9.30, my family was surly, and uh, it was time to go home, put them to bed. And as predicted, I spent the New Year watching tape. Unfortunately, I got a little wrapped up in it, and I didn't realize it was New Year until 1240. I looked down, and I was like, oh, hey, what do you know New Year's? Sounds, <laughs> sounds pretty similar to the New Year's you had. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. I was breaking down game tape, uh, listening to a broadcast, uh, cutting up box scores and whatnot. Uh, I was in Nashville, uh, and it was, uh, it was fun. It was very fun. Your ball club is 5-6, and six, starting off Mid-American Conference play on Wednesday night. Are you ready? We better be. It's coming. It's right here in our face. Yeah, we're we're really, Kyrie's back in the mix in a practice now. Uh, we're relatively healthy. Mo missed today because of the flu, but that's standard fare in the middle of winter. It just kind of happens. For I told, someone from Senegal. I told him. Question. I told him. To, yeah, he said I'm cold. I said, of course you're cold. You're <laughs> you're in Ohio and you're from Senegal. Uh, he was. Uh, he would have gone today had we needed it. He'll mm -hmm. be back in practice, I'm sure, tomorrow. Uh, but, boy, if that's your biggest health concern right now, you're doing pretty good. Regular season conference time and winning a conference championship in the regular season, that has to be one of the unbelievable feelings of accomplishment, of satisfaction, of all of it, just because you know all those teams so well, the season's so long, you had to go through all the grind of it. I mean, that's, that's awesome, isn't it's, it? It's truly the truest test of who the best team in the league is even in an unbalanced schedule because you're all you know ups downs you're the best over the long haul and that holds weight and i've been lucky both times we've won the league in my coaching career we've gone on and won the tournament we were able to ride that momentum uh right into the tournament let's put it this way if you win a regular season conference championship you're generally playing pretty well going into the tournament and it gives you the best chance to win but the other thing too is that that's the bulk of your games in any right. year, and it assures you as a coach that you're going to get to keep coaching if you're doing really well in the league. And, uh, you know, you, you look up here and you look at the names up here. Jim Schneider, look at the years he spent here. Mm -hmm. that, that's the impressive one to me. That, and people talk real fondly of that era. That, that's That'd be nice to replicate. That'd be really cool. Uh, by the way, we got Jamerson's number up there. I was reading the Showtime book uh, about the Lakers, the Showtime era Lakers. Yeah. He's mentioned in that book. He played for the Rockets at the time, mm -hmm. and they were talking about tough series between the Lakers and the Rockets. I was texting back and forth with them uh, when we were out in Hawaii, and it was it was nice to see some OU love in the in the book. A very good, very well written book, and for anybody that grew up in that era, it'd be a great read for you. It's it's, it's terrific, and to understand some of the things that they were dealing with during that time, it's unbelievable. Ohio and Northern Illinois comes up on Wednesday night. Welcome back to the Convo, where you will be on Wednesday night. I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is the Saul Phillips Show. Here's a look at the Cardinal and Black of head coach Mark Montgomery. He's in his fourth season in DeKalb. They are 6-5. and five. The wins over Aurora, Idaho, Maine, and they had to have a 22-2 run in that game to win by five over those fierce Black Bears. Their 61-56 win there at their convo. Win over Mississippi Valley State by seven, and wins over Hampton and Cal Riverside. They won over Riverside 72-67 the other night in overtime in front of 873 Brave Souls uh, at their convocation center. The loss, loss is Iowa, DePaul, Eastern Illinois, Dartmouth in overtime, Notre Dame, they're 6-5. and five. What do you see from them on tape? Your initial thoughts on the Huskies, Coach? Uh, physical, tough-nosed, uh, they rebound well, uh, really do some unique things with uh, digging on penetration and uh, digging into the low post. Uh, they seem to have become recently more committed to throwing the ball into the post on a lot of occasions. Uh, 
a physical tough team and uh they're going to come in here and, and try to shove us around a little bit and that's uh that's your challenge in front of you how, how do you respond to that do you take a punch to the mouth before you decide to play or do you come out here and and stand toe to toe so it's a green and white against the cardinal and black ohio and northern illinois as we pop the top of the 2015 mid-american conference season on wednesday night we're on the air at 6 30 for a tip at seven o'clock that's the saul phillips show slice for Ryan Cochran, I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.